Hi, my name's Charlie. I'm a YouTuber. How are you? Let's be friends. Hit the like, subscribe and share button. So we have here the rare. Hello ladies. It's all good, it's from my YouTube channel. I just want to say, why are you guys not fighting crime? Why are you guys hiding down here drinking coffee? Why are you not fighting? Sorry? You know, you guys are all the way down here hiding from the public. You know, as a taxpayer that's lost my job with all this thing, I'm, I'm offended that you guys are hiding here drinking coffee. Yeah, he is a cute baby, but what? should you guys not be on the beat fighting crime? Which is why you're hiding down here in the war memorial drinking coffee. There's no youths here. They're all at school, darling. Yeah. Anyway, it's all for it's all in good humor. My name's Charlie Veach. The channel is the Charles Veach channel. If you'd like to say hello to anyone on it, feel free. This is your chance. I'm going to go and say hello to the track and trace people. See how they are. I'll see you soon. Just been reviewing some of the footage. I think the one segment requires an introduction. So I'm walking along Market Street and I see some uh, young, young women, girls, physically fighting with the security on Foot Locker, the shoe shop, and they get physically removed. So I'm like, what's going on? And I overheard the uh, security say, oh, attempted shoplifting, they're stealing. And of course I got interested. I am the night crawler, but what uh, shocked me was they were carrying a baby. Now, you all know how I feel about babies. So uh, enjoy the footage. What the hell? This girl's asking security to take her baby. What? This is a group of uh, traveler girls that have been kicked out of every shop for shoplifting. What the hell? She's trying, she's like to the security guard, please take my baby. That's the group of girls been shoplifting and fighting in all the other stores. That woman there, center screen, where's her baby? Now she's not even taking her baby. There's the baby in question. They're going on a fighting and shoplifting spree with a newborn baby. What the hell are you doing carrying a baby around, causing trouble? What the hell are you doing? You guys, what the hell are you doing with a newborn baby? Because I'm concerned about its safety and I've already been on the phone to the police. Good, you should. I'm so angry. I um, have to stop coming to Manchester City Centre. It's a truly disgusting, hellish place. It really is utterly vile. And I think the, the cherry on the cake for me was seeing four drunk young women on a violent shoplifting spree, carrying a newborn baby, trying to give the baby to a stranger. I've had enough. And I don't know if it came up on video, so I'm doing my bit. And she comes up to me to challenge me. And I think I caught her a bit, but off camera, she's like, eh. And I started swearing at her really badly and the security guy kicked me out. Well, asked me to leave, I'm still in the shopping center. Babies, man. Babies. So you're here with your baby, newborn baby, but look at that, no buggy, no prams allowed. You can't, can't have babies in prams. That, that'll bring down, the, that'll be like contagion, disgusting, plague carriers. Oh, oh God, there's one there. Biohazard, just be careful. You just know all the beetle-faced little bureaucrats, all the apparatchiks of the government, Salford government, oh, they even name some of the projects here, the housing projects, the council towers, they named them Engel Towers, Mark's House. Car parks are empty. They're all getting their full wages. You just know they are. Whereas me, the peasant taxpayer, private taxpayer, is screwed over. It's just another thing that winds me up. That's it, Isaac, you go get them. And the reveal, you've got your PCSOs, 
your piglets. Sorry, they're fully uniformed, important people. And then you come back. Oh, look at the camera changing its different lenses. Look at that. Then you've got your... There is video allowed. Don't worry, madam. So then you... um. I just like the colors. It's, it's irrelevant to my filming, whether you're operational or not. I'm just getting some shots. Sorry? Sorry, what's your name and who are you? So why are you insulting my videoing? You've just said irrelevant videoing. Thanks, appreciate it. What's your name? All right, why'd you interact with me then? No, I'm not. I'm stood about 30 yards away from you. Do I need your permission? Oh, really? Ring the police, let's do it. Go on, it'll be fun. Listen, don't bother me. No, no, Just leave no. me alone. No, no, I don't care. Just leave. I'm not, I don't speak authority. I don't speak. Just, just leave me alone. I can film whatever I want. Thank you. I'll find out who you are, G4S or Serco or who you work for. You shouldn't be th threatening members of the public with the police. It's unprofessional. It's authoritarian. It's also extremely rude. And you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. How rude you are. You're so rude. Go on, call the police then. Go on. You threaten me with the police. Go call them. Put your money where your mouth is. Go on. Angry. Go on, go be rude to someone else then. Ba 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 birth face. Ba 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 birth face. Don't want your lockdown, I don't need your regret. I just need you to wear your birth face. Oh. You have blue sky. You have Corinthian pillar. You have a revolution with backward E like Soviet Russia. And you also have in the loading bay, the vehicle of the capitalist pig, capitalist imperialist western pig, surviving on the exploitation of the worker, the parasite managerial class, get here, purple, purple brakes, capitalist purple brakes. Anyway guys, I just like the, uh, the juxta, the juxta of a revolution, ancient Greece and McLaren. And what I think is hilarious, doesn't matter how rich you are, you're still going to advertise the bastard people that sold you the car, because after all, they st <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I almost got run over, sorry driver. It was worth it for the shot. Electric cars are dangerous. I know it's like meant to be Greta Thunberg. Oh, Swedish Doombot Goblin, the Doom Goblin likes it, but Toyota Prius snuck up on me there. Usually I, I've got very good hearing. I can hear an engine, but an electric car, there's no engine. And while we're here, why is there no people in biohazard suits picking up these bits of uh, rubbish? This is the new cigarette butt. It's uh, the PPE and if, it, if it's so safe, why aren't there people in hazmat suits, biological NBC hazmat suits? picking out all the face masks from the bins. It doesn't make any sense. It's not meant to make sense, is it? Hmm. So I get home from uh, my 22 minutes uh, video in the Trafford Center and I'm like, oh, I have ranted and raved against the uh, global monetary entropy of human freedom conspiracy. And I turn on the news and it's the great opposition leader, Keir Starmer, saying government's not gone far enough this whole tier system in the uk we need he says a two to three week full lockdown quarantine everything shut people not allowed out of their homes oh my god and then 
I get advised to go onto the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergency, SAGE, the 300 or so scientists that are advising, or shall we say telling, the expert clergy telling the UK government how to treat the people that voted for the government. Hey, nothing like a bit of unelected experts behind the scenes advising the government. Now about 30 of those guys are behavioral scientists. They're all PhDs, professors from various universities, behavioral institute, and their job is to ensure that the public are as terrified as possible. Are you guys scared of coronavirus? Yeah, no, that, they're too scared to answer. Their job is to make sure that the public via the media, and it's all been, it's all there in public. No hidden documents, it's all in the open. Use the media to ensure that the peasants, sorry, the public, understand the threat. Now, talking to me? Can I come and speak to you? How's this for a shot? So, Pigeon Man, obviously throwing his food for the pigeons, had attracted the ire of the environmental enforcers. And yes, they've been in the mainstream news and the newspapers. People horrified at receiving a £120 fine for feeding the birds. Now, nothing happened today. You know, it's like that uh, classic uh, quantum physics problem. By observing, you affect the result. They saw, ah, oh, shit. Charlie's here. Here's a scene which winds me up. So, crazy pigeon man, who's, uh, he, a minute ago, he had a hundred pigeons on him. They were eating food out of his hand, crawling all over his bare legs. Crazy pigeon man. And now a uh, professional, professional beggar with a little laminated card said, hey, crazy pigeon man, give me your money. <laughs> it's like, you know, in, in modern life, the vulnerable just get harvested for everything by every bastard out there. The one on the left giving me abuse. Professional begging gang. Professional begging gang. Professional begging gang, eh? Who gave you that card, madam? Is the plural of homo erectus is it homo erecti or is it homo erectuses? Believe me, the sun always shines on Charlie V. I must film something wholesome. Firemen, firemen, firewomen, fire people. This will cheer me up. Here we go. I'm not dealing with crackheads. I'm not dealing with travelers drunk with babies. I'm not dealing with professional beggar gangs. I'm gonna have a look at the shutdown of a major intersection with loads of fire engines. God bless you. Good man. And we look down towards Salford. One, two, three, four. But there's a lot of fire engines, so you don't need to count them. There's a lot of them. Oh, shiver me timbers. This is a, uh, as you can see, there's an emergency. They need to get through there. And because the new normal dictates, look at that. How's that for a bloody image or a route to a new normal and the firemen can't even get, sorry, keep up the good work. But what a pain in the ball sack. Look at that. They never thought of that, did they? When they brought this in, new normal. Except if there's a fire down there, how do the firemen get to it? With great difficulty, that's how. It's the uh, Tesco's, I don't know if it comes up on the audio, you can hear the smoke alarm, fire alarm. There's a bunch of fire, let's try and test this camera. Come on, Huawei P30 Pro, do your business. There you go. All consciousness exists in the Goldilocks zone between infinity and true nothing. No worries.
how's the hair? <laughs> that musical intro was by William. He is the guy who heckled me when I was walking through St. Anne's Square. And um, yeah, you watched them play. He's extremely drunk, but uh, quite lucid on the uh, guitar. And what's interesting, which is the reason why I'm filming right now, is uh, as I walk away, he points at me and goes, what's the message? And I say, live free or die? And he goes, no! And then he shouts, love each other as I have loved you. That's the message. And so I, um, yeah, I gave him some coins, he was busking. And that's the message. <laughs>